Hello, YouTube. The train kind of ran off the track in this video from where I thought it was going. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi, friends. I'm going to name this video Why Mexico Part 2. Um, I'm doing that because uh, Part 1, Why Mexico, got a lot of response. Not only views, but uh, many, many, many comments, which I enjoyed and uh, enjoyed responding to. There were a lot of comments I didn't particularly enjoy, and I don't want to belabor that subject today, but I have a couple of things to say about it. Um, this video is going to be about some comparisons I make between the United States and Mexico. And they're going to be comparisons about the price of things and comparisons about um, some of the differences in the culture. But uh, I have a fringe element who leaves comments in my channel. Uh, that I'm going to characterize by gringo go home or you gringos just came here for the cheap prices. It is a fringe element that exists and I delete those comments. I delete them not because I want to hide the underbelly of Mexico. And I don't consider it the underbelly of Mexico, I consider it the dark side of YouTube actually. They don't represent Mexico and Mexicans, they represent uh, puking out in the cyberspace on YouTube. But there is that undercurrent of resentment for the United States in Mexico. It's a deep-seated part of the culture, and probably rightly so, since, uh, and I don't want to give you a, a history lesson, but most of California, Arizona, New Mexico, and uh, half of Texas was stolen from Mexico by the United States. And even though that happened 150 years ago and was done by the government of the United States, there is that fringe element in Mexico who still holds the people of the United States responsible. And it's those people that I want to talk about. <clears throat> I put them in the same category of um, jerkiness. That's not the word I want to use, but it's the word I'm going to clean up for YouTube. I put them in the same category as uh, neo-Nazis in the United States. Neo-Nazis in the United States do not represent white people. Skinheads do not represent white people in the United States. They'd like to, but they don't. And it's the same way with this friend element in Mexico that says, go home gringo, you just came here for the cheap prices. That's the same element in the society here, not the culture here. We didn't come here for your cheap prices. I'm talking to them now. We didn't come here just for your cheap prices. We came here for the rich culture. We came from houses that are going to fall down because they're built out of termite food and they get dry rot before we're going to fall down. And every day in Ahihik I can walk past a church that's still standing after 450 years. That's a difference in a culture that's really a part of daily life living here in Ajijic, Mexico. The houses are painted in happy colors instead of six shades of brown. That's why we came to Mexico. We came to Mexico because we found a culture where family is important and basic honesty is still a part of it and older people are respected it reminds us of our childhood back in the 1950s in the United States 
that's been lost north of the border. It's not your cheap prices. I don't speak your language very well. And I don't understand everything that's said to me when a Mexican writes in my comments or talks to me in person. But when it comes to loving Mexico, Yo entiendo en mi corazón. I've lived here for 18 years, and when you tell me to go home, I am home. Give me a break. Whew. I'll put those comparisons I talked about in the beginning of the video in the next video. I'm going for a walk down by the lake. I'll see you soon. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.